This latest video comes to us from Happy Hooker 83. It depicts her interactions with two individuals who work for the LAPD as they're sitting in their squad car idling in a fire lane. As Happy Hooker correctly points out, uh, they're not supposed to be doing that, and they have no more right to do that than do you or I. Uh, it's important to speak out against every iteration, even something as admittedly small as idling along a fire lane or parking in a parking zone, because one, it uh, will assage your own conscience. You know you're speaking up for your rights. You know you're standing your principle. Also, to the people with, uh, with whom you're speaking, it will remind them and tell them that they don't have any extra rights, that people aren't just sitting idly by uh, while they do such things. And also, it speaks to the audience, either people in the area or if you happen to be videotaping the in interaction, people who may later watch it online. Uh, along with that, let's start this video, and I'll do a little bit of analysis as we go. PD is parked illegally. This is a great way to start a video. Frame what's going on for the viewer. Let them know the situation. It would also be informative to note the date and the location in case something were to happen. Hey fellas, don't y'all know it's illegal to park here? It's a red zone. Happy Hooker's approach was great. She came in plain sight. There could be no claims of being caught off guard or anything like that. And she started out well, too. She asked these two individuals a question. She put them on the defensive. The only time y'all are supposed to park here is in case of an emergency. Well, that's no excuse. I mean, I don't see any flashing lights or it's no emergency. No, but y'all are in the tow zone. Y'all ain't supposed to park here. That's illegal. Y'all would give me a ticket for it. So let's see. 87096-122-1810. This was excellent. Happy Hooker did a great job documenting the squad car number, the license plate, any and all information that you can about the stop because, you know, oftentimes uh, you get nervous, you get uh, d on the defensive, you just want to end the interaction with these uh, people who use violence against uh, nonviolent people, and you just seek to get out of there, and oftentimes after the fact, you may say, oh, I don't even have the name, I don't even have the badge number of the person with whom I interacted, so document everything from the onset, and not just, don't just film it, but do like Happy Hooker did, and spell it out uh, for the camera, so if the video isn't clear, at least the audio is there. Plus, verbalizing it informs the people with badges that you are documented. They know that you're paying attention, that it's their actions that will be, uh, that they'll have to be accountable for. What's going on YouTube? Do y'all have um, badge numbers, um, business cards? I would hate to have to write y'all a ticket and do a citizen's arrest. For what? For parking illegally. You can't arrest somebody. For well, I mean ticket you, that's what I meant, sorry. But wouldn't y'all give somebody a ticket if they parked here? Okay, and no, but y'all can give tickets too. Wouldn't you pick, give somebody a ticket if they were parked there? I An ordinary average car like that. Would you? Would not. You would not. But that's the law though. You have to enforce the law. You have discretion. So you just enforce the law whenever you want, pretty much. You have discretion over the parking. But it's still the law. Again, great conversation on behalf of Happy Hooker, asking questions, uh, putting them on the spot, pointing out the double standards, making them answer her questions. Um, if anything, I would say that maybe uh, you don't have to uh, talk as much. Sometimes silence is very powerful. It forces the people with badges to be accountable for their actions. Uh, sometimes if you ask them a question and then follow up immediately with another question, um, it, it allows them just to kind of hang back and, and not provide any response. But if you ask a, t a question that's to the point and tough and then just hang back, uh, the silence is deafening sometimes and it really shows uh, the double standards. Even parking violations are part of the law. Y'all have a good day and don't park illegally again! 
in the end, great work by Happy Hooker 83. You know, she uh, asked some tough questions, uh, pointed out double standards, got more information from the people with badges, and they took off. So all in all, a great cop block. And my hat's off to you if I had a hat on. <laughs> Peace. When you see a cop accused of murder or rape or assault, do you honestly think that's, a, that's the first time they've engaged in such rights violations? Or isn't it more plausible that after years of being on the force, they've routinely gotten away with things wrong for you or I? That's why it's important to call out every single iteration that you see every time there is a double standard presented.